can speak a little bit about uh, the bride who is looking to do it herself because of budget or whether she wants to do it herself she thinks well oh you know it's it's really simple I can just go out and buy some flowers and do my own bouquets can you speak to to when is it important to use a professional when is it important to realize you may be a little out of your depth well I mean I think this is a sensitive subject for florists because I think that what winds up happening is there can be a presumption of um, it's not really about time and talent. It's really about um, I got what's the best way to word this? I think two things are happening when you have wedding flowers made for you. Number one, it's extremely time consuming. I think that's the part that people are not recognizing that in addition to flowers needing to be processed in a certain way, assuming that you can get them pre-processed for yourself, certain Floral elements will go together very quickly. If someone says, oh, I'm thinking of buying baby's breath and putting them in a mason jar, that's not that time consuming and doesn't really take that much talent. Oh, I want to take three hydrangea and put them together in a bridal bouquet. And yes, again, doesn't take that much talent, doesn't take that much time. But the reality of it is, is I would say at least 90% of what we do I couldn't just take someone off the street and spend three hours with them and teach them how to do most of what we do. It takes practice, it takes years. So I think what winds up happening is, as florists, we sometimes can feel devalued because people are not, we're thinking, do they know that this is a talent that we have, that we've been trained, that, you know, when we do something, it's going to look different than someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So there's a part that, that's why it makes it tricky. I totally understand that people are on a budget and that's why for me when when someone comes to me and they're like I'm thinking of doing my own wedding flowers one of the things that I I start off right off the bat I completely understand you wanting to save money and I completely understand of you wanting to feel crafty and doing things on your own what I want to be able to advise on is when there is a major cost savings and when there isn't. Because a lot of times there isn't as much of a cost savings as you would think. Because a lot of times we're not charging an exorbitant amount of labor. It's all the process of what we do. It's the retail value of the flower. And then having someone who's really talented put those flowers together in an artful way isn't costing you as much as you might think it is. So whenever someone comes to me and they say, we want you to do the boutonnieres and corsages, we want you to do the bouquets, but we're thinking of doing our own centerpieces. I always say, I think that's actually an awesome idea. Tell me what you're doing. Let's talk about whether, number one, do you need flowers from me for that? But number two, is the will the logistics work? I would say most of the time when I talk to people, there's a hiccup in the logistics. We're thinking of getting, you know, we want to do vases of floating candles and we're going to set that up ourselves, for example. And I always say to them, that's great. Do you know if the venue is going to let you in, in early enough in order for you to do that? Do you know that we rent glassware and it can be often less expensive than buying your own? What will you do with the glassware later? Are you aware of the fact that you can actually hire us to set up your DIY centerpieces? For example, you know, you know you have to have these set up. There's only an hour window to set them up. They're water with, you know, cylinder bases with water and a candle, but logistically it won't work. Are you aware of the fact that for just to be covered for our labor and our time that we can do that for you? So I think a lot of times as a florist, I can't jump to the I can't jump to the conclusion that someone's devaluing what we do that they're not understanding the art of flowers and that they're that they're um, not understanding how much time it can take and time sensitive that setting weddings are I can't jump to that like they're dis that they're devaluing what we do my job is to say I understand where you're coming from let me see how I can help you because I find I don't really do too many DIY weddings I have a lot of people where they'll come to me originally with at least one or two DIY floral related um, ideas of what they want to do and they do wind up involving me in one way or the other because as I might and the final thing I'll say on this is on the day of your wedding you want to walk into your wedding as a guest and if it's a difference of $25 
is it really worth not paying like sometimes people will say oh well we'll pick up our flowers on our wedding day you know I don't want to pay a $25 delivery fee and I'm like first of all do you, do you know how hard it is to get flowers from point A to point B in good condition and second of all why do you want to put one more thing on your on your plate think about it smartly if you need to save money there's always suggestions I think every wedding vendor is that way there's always suggestions to save money doing it yourself is not always ideal but discussing it and dis and not devaluing what a vendor does having respect for them but asking their opinion you're usually going to get a true honest one so that's why I say it's always tricky handling that because my point of view is that if somebody needs to cut back on their expenses because they feel, all right, I, I'll, do, I'll DIY this, I'll do this on my own so that I can save money there, I always feel like I'd rather save money for them, be creative somewhere else so that they can still hire a professional and have it done for them for, from start to finish. So that's usually my take on that.